You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up Hop in my car and the giddy up Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus I'll show you what I got for Christmas It wasn't brand new, but it's new to me And I'm looking scruffy I'm out here in Florida, but my barber's back in there El Paso Selena, as soon as I get back, I'm gonna hit you up But, um It involves a lot of work I'm willing to do that work because you're gonna see how much money I am saving by accepting this gift as a Christmas gift all right so you guys stay tuned and I'm gonna show you in a minute so I'm out here at Bayway Auto Sales. Well, uh, nope. Right, so I need to disconnect that. Get all this disconnected. I don't know if you guys can tell as yet. But yes, this is my Christmas gift. All right. They work, which is unbelievable. I have to get the uh, rubber pads, get all this cleaned up. Um, so my plan is to go ahead and get these um, repainted, recertified, have the actual company come out, test them, make sure we're good to go. And there you go. I have not one but two lifts no that white car is not mine you know i keep things simple but here is the other one so i'm just waiting on the electrician to come out and disconnect them from the power supply and i can go ahead and uh Take them down. So, seems the electrician is here. I'm gonna go ahead and let him in and go ahead and get him to uh, cut the power on these so I can get to work. Yep, that's him. All right, so we got the power <laughs> disconnected. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. But apparently the box is dead. There's nothing going to it. So he went ahead and cut them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start by taking the uh, arms off, getting them put out of the way. Then start with the pump, the motor, get that. Taking down the safety release, you see here get that taken off also um, I'm not gonna try and mess with these cables too much probably just disconnect from here so I can pull them all the way up <clears throat> I'll say another two days of work all put together and we should be good the, uh, I gotta you know what I'm gonna take the next hour or so watch some videos on disassembling this stuff make sure I get it right I want to be able to put it back together in one piece once it's done being cleaned up, recertified, and everything. So, let me get to work. That just snapped. Not good.
moving, but not enough. So I'm gonna need some penetrating oil. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pins off of that one also, and then work my way up the sides, taking off what I can. I don't want to leave here and have to come back. Even come back. I'm trying to be out of here by two o'clock. So I'm gonna take all the pin bolts out, work my way up the sides, and go for it. All right, guys, so there's no way around it. I might go to the park store. There's no way around it. Um, a lot of this stuff just needs penetrate. There. There. I got the bolts out, but I need to get some oil down in here, get that loosened up. No bump stops. It's. I think the only thing here that, that that's not gonna need penetrating oil is the bolts at the bottom on the base. And it's four of them holding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go to the store. Like, if you look at this here, like, that is just. I don't know what happened here. If you think about it, guys, we are on the Gulf Coast, so salt water is what, maybe a mile from here? Storms yearly. These things look like they've been here for a good, I don't know, eight, nine years, maybe more. I'll have to check on the business, do some more research, but this is what we're working with here. So I need to look up this company if I can find it info anywhere. To get a hold of them. Alright, instead of going to the auto parts store, I went to the old Home Depot and I got a big PB blaster drain pan for the hydraulic fluid. And some uh, dry sweet stuff for the in case the hydraulic fluid spills. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the hell up. Got scared there for a minute, couldn't find the key. One day I am hoping to own a building like this. You know, going to the office in the mornings, opening up shop, welcoming customers, you know, getting my employees that whole pizza for lunch, you know, because they work so hard. And we're pushing out the top notch products, you know. One day, one day. But anyway, let me get the spraying and jump up out here because it's starting to rain. Right. Got a little seven foot ladder. I'm gonna see how far this gets me. Nah. Tomorrow I gotta bring my 11 foot. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I gotta spray those tomorrow. And head back home to the other one. So I'm gonna need the ladder. I have a big ladder of the house. 
I'm gonna need that to get up and hit those bolts at the very top. You guys can't really see them. Let me see if I can zoom in this mode. Nope, can't zoom, hold on. So there you guys get a closer look. I'm gonna spray it from here. I'll get some on the inside, loosen them up. Uh, other than the surface rust, they look pretty good. Uh, hit those other two. Uh. Eee, PB blaster in the face. Yay. Yeah. I'm going to check the hydraulic line, see if there's any fluids in there, and let's go ahead and get those disconnected. Matter of fact, we open the reservoir. First, I'll see what's in there. Can't really see in there. Um, yeah, we need to get something dipped down in there. See how much float is in there. Found an old car molding. See, uh, yeah, kind of measuring up. See how long it is. Put it in there. Yep, touch the bottom. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fluid. Jesus. Yep. Gotta open that up. So, I gotta wait, guys. Um, sprayed everything down, PB Blaster. I need bigger wrenches to take these hydraulic fittings off. So, I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna go to the house, pack it up, and I think what I'm gonna do is get um, a long enough pry bar to push onto here so I can wiggle it while I'm trying to get the pins out because I really don't have anybody to help me get those out um, this piece should once I get this off disconnect oh no it's a part of the system so once I take the arms off get them to the side disconnect the cable so I can run the cable back up get the top piece loose bring that down and then um, same thing on this side cable loose so I think what they just run over the top of each other yeah so I'll get those get the cables loose so tomorrow arms cables top piece on bolt lifts, then uh, hydraulic fluid, or I can have that draining while I'm doing all the other stuff. Then I can come take the motor and the reservoir off, and we should be good. So that's the game plan for tomorrow. Um, gonna spend time with family this evening, as you can. You know, it's the holidays, so I'm gonna, uh, I've done all I can do here. Don't have the proper tools. All right. So, uh, put this up inside and get on back to the house. All right, guys, back. Day two on this. Um, as you can see, cleaned up a little bit. Got everything spread out, so I'm not running back and forth. Like, you know, chicken with the head's cut off. But, um, got camera gear. Actually, on my tripod today. Coffee, well needed. 
So, I'm gonna see which one of these wrenches fit these cables and get them off. If not, oh, we have a winner. Since I spread them out yesterday, let's see how they work. All right, so as you can see, the uh, PB Blaster I bought yesterday does work and came off easy, the quarter inch or 19. All right, so that one's done. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side off. What I plan to do is just take one complete lift down. That way when I do the other one, it's faster. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me get to it. All right. Both cables are disconnected. Now I'm gonna set the ladder and try to start taking the top piece off. Once that's off, I can jump on the arms. Oh, top piece is off. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the uh, power supply, the motor, and drain the hydraulic fluids. Also, I almost forgot about that. Then I can take the arms off. All right, guys, so those bolts and nuts up top, they're a 19 millimeter. They came off real easy. So what I'm gonna do as a safety precaution is get some straps out of my truck and anchor at the bottom, hook into the top. So when it comes loose, it doesn't just drop and injure me or breaks up. Let me go get some straps and get that done. And then uh, what I'm seeing is the other side I need to disconnect the power supply first because this leads all the way up there so let me go get some screwdrivers disconnect that and I might have to switch gears and take the motor off first before tackling the top see this is where I wish I had another camera an actual camera instead of using my phone uh, hydraulic 10,000 pound capacity lift. It was manufactured by Realtronic Limited. I got the serial number, so that one should have the serial numbers also. And yeah, I don't know if the company's still in business, but if not, I'll probably get pointed to somebody who can come look at them and like I said. Recertify. Check everything out. So, electrical connection. Got to get in here. And yesterday we had everything disconnected from the main power, so we should be good. loosen the bolts with this up top, come back in the straps, and just try to work my way through it. Just like, what is that?
comes out, there's a cable for the safety release up top. So I need to take this off and disconnect this first before letting that down so I don't snap the cable. Think about living here in the south, close to the ocean. Gotta be with rust. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Rust, rust. I need to spray these down. I think I'm gonna try this connect right here to get that cable free and just take it out from this. And... <sighs> Learning experience. Hydraulic fluid has four quarter inch um, bolts that go up to here. So from the bottom here all the way up. That bolts this to the motor. But what I think is easier is just leaving it connected, taking the full bolts holding the motor to the frame, and taking it apart altogether. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I think that's easier, so I don't spill anything anymore. Don't want to have to do that. I'll it. Alright guys, so I got the electrical 
pin. I got a disconnect over there on that side. Take that completely down. I'll do that when I get to that side. I already got the strap hooked up up top. I got two bolts left up there. I'm gonna take this down and get up there. Go with that pin. Alright guys, all four bolts taken out of this hole at the top. Um, thank God there's two hooks on it to help to assist in putting on and taking off. So the hooks are all there right now. I'm gonna jump to the other side, disconnect that complete side. The same thing with the strap over there. And we see how it looks. Hopefully, um, here in another hour, I can have both sides completely done and I can take the arms off and go get some lunch. Alright, let's see if it worked. There you have it guys, top piece down. Now, to show you my disappointment. That right there. 
That is a lot of surface rust. Like I said, I'm going to take pictures of everything, videos, send them to the company. And they might just send me, I don't know, a new top piece. Or I can um, sandblast this, hit it with um, a coating, a powder coated, anti-rust, something. That's my plan actually with all of this. But all these cables and wires will get replaced. Get this whole thing recertified and I got two left for Christmas. All right guys, as you can see, one arm's already out. I wanted to try it off camera. Let's see how tough it was gonna be before I decided to bring you guys on. So basically, this pin, Pull this up a little bit, get a vice grip, grab the side of the clip, and pretty much rock this until it comes out. That's basically it. So let me get my small pipe off, pull this up, grip it, show you guys. And there you have it. It was a little bit fast, but you got the idea. Okay. Just gonna fry that up, vice grip it, rock this up and down, slide this out. Right, so that's two. I'm gonna knock these out then, my. This one. Alright, so I told you yesterday I broke one of the uh, pins off. The metal piece that, well. I guess it was bad before, and I just finished the job. So I am going to bring a drill tomorrow, tap into it, and try to get it out if I can get it out today. Right now I have a socket sitting under it, trying to put pressure on it to come down, but it's not doing anything. That pin is not going anywhere. So. I'm gonna go take the other sides off, off the other lift. Yeah, so ain't going down nowhere. So I'm gonna go to the other side, take those arms off, and then go catch me some grub. with a PB blaster, let them soak. I'm gonna go ahead and try and drop these, get us out of the way completely, and then tackle that one. I need to get the socket from onto this one. Take both out the post. I 
think I figured it out. Y'all know me. dangerous it is Down number two, only one left. Completely down. I got three hours left. Tackle that. All right, guys, this is pretty much a video. I mean, disconnect the electrical, took apart the cables, top brace, wrapped the cables up, took out the pump and the uh, fluid reservoir. You gotta take them down now. It's the last. Well, this is the second pole for the first one. Still got that one over there to do. Which, you guys see me do this one. So, I'm gonna knock that one out and wrap it up. All right. Now, I gotta go find somebody. I wanna make some change. They do those strings, though. Help me. Blow all this crap on the floor. Get this place cleaned up. Tell two wonderful people who made this possible. Thank you so much. Now, going back to that hard ass, long, boring drive, drive to El Paso. And once you get there, it's cool. It's a city. Drive there? Ugh. Anyway, it's down. Let me go knock that one out. Close the video out. Appreciate y'all so much, yo. Alright guys, first I'm going to apologize for all the noise in the background. There's some scats, some behind twos, some hemis, some subies out there. They're crazy to guess what it is. I might go check it out when I get done. Um, this lift, same problem. That pin doesn't want to come out. And it's not broken off, it's just with brick loops. So, I'm going to take it down like the other one. Spray it with some PV plaster and hopefully overnight. Also, the nut on the back of it, the holes are then in the ground. The whole thing is spinning. So I gotta go get a hammer drill or, you know the ratchet? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know what I'm talking about, the battery shit. Man. To, to break that loose. Nah, I don't think it's gonna come out. I'm gonna try and pull it out and see what happens. 
Hopefully. This one, it's all loose, ready to go. So I'm gonna take that one though first, get it out of the way, and then get that one down. Tired. Have a go. 